I'm joined right now by Stanislaus State coming off an 11-2 win over Cal State East Bay in the first game of the 2023 CCA Baseball Championships. I'm joined right now by head coach Kenny Lee Shinichio. On his right, Mac Cabero. And on his left, Tony Jacob. Coach, would you take us through your thoughts on today's game um, and how your team performed out there today? Yeah, I mean, first off, I, I want to congratulate uh, East Bay on a, a great season that they had. And I just have so much respect for Coach you know, Cummings and what he does over there. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, it was interesting that this is the fifth time we've played him here, and it was like a five-game series. We literally just played him a couple days ago. So, um, you know, I, I thought our guys came out and, and just did a really good job of – you know, having good at bats and uh, you know scoring those runs in that first inning were huge for us. And then uh, for Tony to go out and put up a zero, um, you know, for us it was just kind of getting some confidence, I think, offensively. And uh, once that got going a little bit, you know, uh, I thought we swung the bats pretty well. Um, and uh, you know, Tony did a good job. He's done a good job for us all year. Uh, obviously, the, the walks were a little bit high for him. It's not really something he normally happens but you know to battle through that it, it is, it's a great thing and shows you know how good of a pitcher he is. I know as a coach you always got to talk about pitching but you guys put up 11 runs on the board today. Matt could you talk to me a little bit about you guys were going against one of the better pitchers in the conference he was first team all conference and coach mentioned a little bit but take advantage of those runs in the first inning when they gave you guys some gifts could you just tell me tell me about how the offense helped you guys really set the tone today. Uh, so I think it started off with getting the first guy on. We struggled with that a lot in our previous games recently. And once we had that going on, multiple innings, I think uh, the offense really picked up and we were able to put good, uh, good team at bats together. Do you guys have a little bit more focus on these games of, like you said, continuing to put on the runs? It felt like you guys had pressure on them every inning, even when you guys didn't score. I think we're kind of just trying to ride the momentum and stay focused because of our past offensive struggles, and we just put, wanted to put together at bats, good positive at bats. The other thing I got to just make a quick comment on I know you're out there as a second baseman, zero errors in a playoff game. Those are always important, as let's be honest, on the other side, that hurt them a little bit there. But, all right, Tony. Let's talk a little bit about your performance. Can you tell me just, not just maybe the X's and O's, what went on out there today, but stepping up for your team in this playoff game with your team's back against the line and how it felt out there? Uh, yeah, I mean, they were getting hits. It made it a lot easier for me. I was just doing my best trying to make pitches and give us a chance. Let's go a little bit more. I'd like to talk to you about both you and your teammates. So you go five innings today. You give up one hit in that time. You guys, and then after that, you guys get another three innings on the board from, or sorry, four innings on the board from three different pitchers with three total hits. Just tell me about the effort you guys did out there and how, guy after another, it felt like everybody was on their game today. Well, I mean, we've been doing that lately. A lot of guys, they're just, they're getting stuff done. They're doing their jobs. They're giving our hitters a chance. And, you know, now today, our hitters gave us a little bit of leeway. So we were just more comfortable out there just having fun. I just want to know whose idea was about the hair. Cool. There's a little bit of everyone. Uh, not, we weren't sure if everyone was going to do it. Then uh, Caleb Bertini did it. And then uh, JD did it. So everyone's like, all right, I guess, I guess we're getting after it. So, you know, we all, we all got together and did it all together. It was great. What's it going to take for the coach to do his goatee? <laughs> I don't know. No one ever asked me to do that. I mean, <laughs> I'm not going to do my hair because I don't have any hair to, to do it. To, so I guess my goatee is the one I could possibly do. I know we do got some extra products, so at least it is last night. So we, if we have to, we get that done. You know, the thing is, though, after winning the game, I don't think you want to change anything else. Yeah. So I think we should. Just... <laughs> That's the right thing. Keep those baseball, baseball superstitions. Don't mess it up. You're right. And as you noted, you guys won. See you guys back here again tomorrow. You know you'll be playing that first game against the number one seed, Cal State Monterey Bay. We'll see you guys for a 930 first pitch. Thank you very much. Thank Great you. win. Thank you. Appreciate it.